Let's do problem number 11. Basically, they give us the initial point and the terminal point of a vector, and we have to find the vector, the magnitude of the vector, and then we have to find this. This is a unit vector in the direction of this vector. If we read the directions, it actually tells us that. So it says, find the component form and magnitude of the vector v with given initial and terminal points. Then find a unit vector in the direction of v. That's what this piece here is. So once you take your vector v and you divide by the magnitude, you basically get a unit vector. Remember, a unit vector is a vector that has magnitude 1. So we get a vector just like v pointing in the same direction as v, except its length is 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down what we have and work through this. So we have initial. So our initial point in this problem is 1, 2, 0. And our terminal point in this problem is 4, 1, 2. And so step one is to find v. So to find v, you always do terminal minus initial. This is super important. So terminal minus initial. Terminal minus initial. Very, very key idea. Simple but important. So let's see, angle bracket. So terminal is this one here. So 4 minus 1. Then you do 1 minus 2. So terminal minus initial. To subtract the corresponding entries. And then you would do 2 minus 0. So 2 minus 0. So you take your terminal point and you subtract your initial point. So you just subtract each of the entries. So 4 minus 1, check. 1 minus 2, check. 2 minus 0, check. Everything looks okay. It's really easy to mess up in these problems. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So this would be our vector v. So when you go type it in, let me just go over here and click. Um, you can click on vectors, and there it is right there, this symbol here. If you click on vectors, you can get this symbol, and that makes it easier to type in the answers. Really, really useful. And I think I'm just going to hit that. Oh, that didn't quite work. Okay, so there it is. I just moved my mouse away, and it, and it gave it to me. Very good. Now we're going to find the magnitude of v. This is also called the length of v. It's also called the norm of v. Multiple names for the same thing. It's also called the Euclidean norm. Extra, extra life knowledge. So to find this, what you do is you take the square root and you just square each of the components. Just like in two dimensions, except you do it in three dimensions in this case. So you do 3 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. So in general, if you have v, say, equal to abc, just so you have the formula in case you want it, um, you basically just take the square root, and it's a squared plus b squared plus c squared. It's just an extension of what we do in two dimensions. So this is the square root. This will be 9 plus 1 plus 4, right? 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. So we get the square root of 14. So that would be the magnitude. I'll go ahead and type it in. You can type in SQR. And now I'm going to press the letter T on my keyboard. Here it is, T. And it gives you uh, the square root. The last piece wants us to work this out. It's kind of a nice problem because it tells you how to do it. It tells you how to find the unit vector. It gives you the formula. Um, so it would be V over the magnitude of V. And you're basically taking this vector and dividing by this. So basically, you're multiplying by 1 over the square root of 14. And then you have 3, negative 1, 2. Now, I don't know if it'll accept it like this. It might. But let's go ahead and just distribute it through. So 3 over the square root of 14, negative 1 over the square root of 14, and then 2 over the square root of 14. So this vector is just like the vector v. It's pointing in the same direction, except its length is 1. In other words, this vector is called a unit vector. Remember, a unit vector is a vector whose length or magnitude is 1. Whenever you take a vector v and you divide by its magnitude and you go through this process of turning it into a unit vector, 
you are normalizing the vector. So if you're ever on the street and someone says, hey, can you help me normalize this vector? Uh, now you know what they're talking about. I hope this video has been helpful.